Well, welcome back. Well, conversations I had at the British Shooting Show the other week varied from lead-free bullets to steel shot to Morris dancing and unusual hides. Well, it's unusual hides tonight. And who better to introduce the video than the man whose idea it was. So, during a very nice chat with fellow YouTuber David at the British Shooting Show, I suggested he made more of his ingenious way of getting closer to his squirrels. Here's the film. Well, welcome to a very beautiful yet cold, sunny morning here in the Manor House Gardens. Uh, and I'm alongside the hide that I've used several times now, and it's known as the Binerminator hide. And the reason for this video is following a long conversation I had with David Wright from Field Sports Britain last Sunday at the shooting show. Um, he's seen this on one of my videos and he asked, had, had I ever done a video on how I built it? Well, I hadn't. I just sort of covered it briefly. And he said, you must do a video uh, all about the bin, how I got it and uh, how I converted it to a shooting hide. So, uh, David, thanks very much for your suggestion. I'm going to take you up on it. After all, you're, you're the expert, you know what goes well. So this is it. This is the Binerminator. I got this from a local uh, refuse company. Um, got it in the November and it cost me a £20 donation for their Poppy Appeal Fund. Uh, what first brought me uh, to get something like this is I did some shooting on an industrial estate where there was already some of these there being used for, for bins. Um, and I wanted to be able to go there shooting rats and squirrels and not really sort of stand out by leaving a hide there for sort of two or three days. So um, I racked my brains for a while. It wasn't suitable to go there in a car. Uh, and this, this I came, came there one morning and watched one of the lorries emptying these. And I thought, well, that'd be a, a good idea. They move around on wheels. It's a brilliant hide. Obviously you can position it where you want to position it, um, which is obviously in this garden. I can move it around uh, different parts of the garden. Um, that's one really good uh, aspect with this. I know if you go to the, the, the problem that the time to build a squirrel shooting hide or a rat shooting hide, that's it. Where you've put it, that's where it's going to stay. You haven't got the problem with this. Um, it's relatively light. Two people can pick this up and put it in the back of a truck. Uh, I first brought this here in the back of uh, my transit. I had a transit long wheelbase uh, custom with six seats, so I had the normal size uh, luggage compartment in the back. This used to fit in that no problem at all, and I could load it on my own. Um, it will also go in the back of the Isuzu truck that I've got now. Um, two people pick it up, just, just drop it straight in, no problem at all, lash it down. So that's it really. Um, from the outside, it just looks like a normal uh, wheelie bin. Obviously, for those people that are more familiar with them, I've taken off a lot of the mechanics off of the side of it. There was obviously this lid when it opens that way, it's spring loaded. So I've taken off one of the hinges there and there was also lots of metal work um, with attached springs just to make sure that lid shut down properly. So really from, from a sort of a, a a long distance view, it doesn't look any different to another, another sort of wheelie bin, um, which again is, is brilliant. Uh, here in the Manor House garden, it normally sits underneath a beech tree in the corner of a hedge. Um, it's, it's not um, in the way for the guests when they come here and sitting out on the patio, they don't see it. That's why it's got a bit of camo on there, but that's the only reason for that. Um, as I said before, in the winter, it's nice and warm in there. It's obviously dry. And with the domed roof, when you're sat in there, there's plenty of room, um, obviously head height in there, even with a hat on. They do them now with a flat, flat bin on, flat uh, lid on the top, which obviously reduces your head height. So I'll open the sides up and you can see then what we've done. But shooting wise, all the shooting's done from this hatch in the front. Obviously that comes out. It's got two little twist locks on there. That comes out and then access to the inside of the bin is through the side door there. So the hinge is a top top hinge which is like a piano hinge, stainless steel, uh, that's screwed on the top there and down the side here is, we used to call them budget locks um, in the workshop where I used to work but it's a sort of um, little flat 
locks that you see on the side of the luggage compartments on a coach. Just use a normal T key to open those up. See that one twists that way. This one will twist the opposite direction, opens up. Now we always use a piece of wood here that Sir Adam's left around from this garden. So access in is, there we go, you can see there's a piece of wood there which is sort of off a bit of a, when well, I had some building done at home, so that was one of the joists. And on the sides, both sides, is there another joist that I've cut a slot out and that allows that wood to sit in there and then you can obviously slide, slide the position of that wood. So I'll get on the inside then, do some filming from the inside um, so you can see a bit better but bring you up closer now so you can see what I mean about this, this uh, wooden bench seat there. Well there we are, that's, obviously that's that, that wooden bench seat, it's just a normal piece of wood on there. So any, you could put anything in there if you were going to make one of these. Uh, and I'll just, just cut the joists out which go along the sides there. And that just once you're in there, that's obviously your reclining seat if you like. You can, you can sit there, you can lay back a bit further, obviously your knees go up underneath the table that I've made. Uh, or you can move it right back and stay sat, sat upright. On the back there, there's a bit of uh, what we call in the upholstery shop as rubberized horsehair, um, and that's all it is really. It's horsehair with, with um, that's been sprayed with liquid rubber, uh, and that just obviously keeps your back off of the side wall of this. Obviously, if it's cold, that side wall is going to be cold on the outside. Um, keep your way, get a, a thermal support between you and that cold wall. Um, obviously, going to make it more comfortable for you. As I said before, once you start getting cold, you'll lose interest in what you're doing um, and it won't be long before you pack up and go home. So make yourself as comfortable as possible at all times. So I'll just demonstrate how an old bloke gets in the bin terminator. Obviously kit wise, normally I'd have a rucksack and a rifle. So the rucksack would go straight in first of all, the rifle I would put down there. And it's just a case of getting in And there we go, that's as simple as that. Get settled in here, make sure everything's secured, pick the rifle up, bring it in, and off you go. Now remember I said that um, having this seat on uh, sliders, that you can actually sort of turn it into a reclining seat. Uh, all you do with that is take the weight off of it, slide it forwards, watch forward, and you can have a nice lay down. And also by laying down, that obviously gives you a bit more view. Um, it elevates the view you can see in front of you. Obviously for squirrel shooting, uh, they're, they're always, most of the time they'll come from the treetops. You get the occasional visitor that comes along the ground level, but uh, they're always going to go to the nut feeder. So that's, that's the, the golden egg with that one. Uh, and that's, that's as simple as it is. I say it's a bit of an act to get in and out of. I've learned how to do it over the years I've had this. Um, uh, I wouldn't be without it. It's, it's a brilliant portable um, piece of kit. Um, it's not, not obtrusive to gardens or, or industrial estates, wherever you put it, so um, it's served me well um, and I've some brilliant results from it. So I'm just going to put my seat back, back up, put your seat back up for landing. And out we go, simple as that. Right, well I've got in, in the bin now um, and as you can see I did feature um, very briefly on a previous video I've made a nice solid support here which is hinged um, there's just an allen bolt in the top there I'll keep the allen key there on the magnet so I can undo that take the support out drop that table down if I want to um, but being left-handed it's obviously it's on the left side of my body so it's ideal for me to shoot in and it gives me a good um, solid rest so I can get a nice arc of fire across if, across the garden if I need to and as I said once before um, it's, it's obviously on wheels so you can move it around and I thought well how can I move it around um, if I'm in in the bin and I want to move uh, across to the right or the left well a simple solution for that in the bin at the bottom is a drain hole and uh, all I do is I've got a long about three foot long crowbar with a point on and by sticking the point in the ground and then just levering the crowbar from right to left it will turn the bin around so great little solution um, and it solved the problem of being able to move just you know a fraction of an inch across or a foot or so across to get um, get onto something that had moved so 
uh, a great little solution to that and I say you put your thinking cap on and you can come up with all sorts of things but make, I made this obviously to start with just with the seat and the runners uh, the table came along as, as an extra I thought well, that would be a, a nice thing to have but obviously I didn't want it there all the time so it is on hinge and it can drop out um, quite easily the front as you can see it's, it's not held on um, very structurally uh, sound but it's just normal sort of twist lock pieces of wood just twist those out twist those out and that just falls out of shape and that I normally just stick round on the floor underneath the bin so of course that's the view that you're familiar with um, looking out so I've moved this now so it's not looking at the cherry trees so um, that's the view you get um, and I think headroom between where my head is now sat on this bench there's a good five inches of headroom from the top of my head to the top of this dome roof and um, again that's that's nice and ideal plenty of leg room for my feet get my feet in um, i liken this a bit to an mx5 sports car or a toyota mr2 and um, they're really comfortable when you get in them it's just the getting in which is the problem and obviously me being sort of i'm just knocking on to 60 now um, the getting in and getting out is a little bit sort of a, a, a process sort of get your legs out first and then sort of the rest of your body will follow but um, I'm sure youngsters will just throw themselves in and jump out no problem at all but I say there's an art to getting in and out it, it once you're in it's lovely and comfortable a bit like a nice sports car uh, and it's well worth the effort to get in and uh, make sure you get everything in here um, once you know, you're going to start your shoe. So I'll show you how the, uh, the bin's secured when I'm not here, obviously with these turn locks or budget locks as they used to be called. Um, that's how I secure, to secure it when I'm not, not here. But when I'm in there and I want to shut the sides down, all I've got is a, a block of wood on a screw. One of these on each side, so I'll get myself in there, shut that down, and that just keeps that door um, firmly closed up. Uh, stops the drafts and everything. Um, and it's as easy as that, so you don't have to overcomplicate things. Um, go for an easy option every time. Um, I'll say it's on wheels, you can lock it once it's in position with the locks on the, on the two wheels. Um, I've bolted the lid down uh, for obviously reasons. You can stop people from, it was at one of the sites where I was at before, and uh, people had decided they were going to put some rubbish in there, so I put bolts on each four corners um, and that stopped them from doing that. So I got in there one day and I got some pizza in there and some KFC which was really nice <laughs> that someone had left for me. So there we are, it's as simple as that. Well the bin's back now in the position where I always shoot from um, when I'm here in the, the manor house garden and just to keep it level I've got it on a couple of um, slabs here and also as I said before there's brakes uh, on two of the wheels, so I've put it on the slabs, put the brakes back on. Obviously it's all secured up. That's my prop that I keep close by for when I'm in there. Um, and, that, and that's as simple as it gets. Um, I say this, this thing, I was quite lucky. I went to the local company that um, run, this, run this business uh, and this was in their damaged stock out the back and I, I just made an offer of 20 quid for their poppy appeal fund. So that's how I managed to get that. Um, and it's, it's been a godsend since then. You've just missed Sir Adam, he's come up. It's a bit like the lady uh, that used to appear on the, the early Tom and Jerry films, The Housekeeper. You only ever saw her legs. Um, I think you've, do, you've done that on one of my videos. He, he, he appeared and bought me breakfast and he's just said, the only thing I need in here now is a coffee table. And I said, well, I don't really need a coffee table because I have a man that brings me breakfast. So he's just gone off to to do that for me so uh, anyway I hope this has been useful I said it's not a shooting video there's a lot of people that um, we've sold guns to at the Oxford Gun Company that are new to shooting and they're interested in uh, how I go about making hides so that's really for this uh, and again the video has been made uh, on the suggestion from David Wright from Field Sports Britain so thanks again David uh, for your suggestion I hope it's been uh, received in the way that it's meant to have been and uh, I look forward to seeing you with a bit of squirrel action. There's two feeders out and there's a few visitors appearing on there. So perhaps another couple of weeks and uh, we'll either be uh, in a new part of the woods um, over at the shooting ground 
or back over at the airfield. They've both got visitors, they've both got action, so it's really who's got the most um, will win. So until then, I'll see you then. Cheerio. Well, thanks again. And if you're interested in having a go in the Bin Erminator and shooting from it, it will be at the Oxford Gun Company throughout the month of May for our air rifle competition. Come along with some great prizes. Maybe I'll see you then. Cheerio.